This is a demonstration of Mayan multiplication free. I turned the sound off for now just because it has a pretty fancy soundtrack, so I'll go ahead and tap to continue. And you'll see here there are a couple different options. You can play the game, you can look at your progress, and one of the things I like to point out is there are educator notes, which are great because you can actually read about all the different games that are included in the app and it gives you an explanation of what the app is and how you can play it, which is awesome because if the students have questions, you have a very quick and easy way to find their answers. I'm going to tap play just to show you one of the games. And you'll see I already created my profile. The nice thing about this is that each student can create their own profile and they can pick up where they left off rather than having to start over at the beginning every single time they want to play. So I'll tap my name and then go OK. And you'll see there are a bunch of different games. As There are blue slashes through some of them. And of course, this is the free version, so you don't have access to every single one. But you still have access to a fair number. Over on the left, if I can draw your attention, you'll see you can actually, if you tap on the focus button in the full version, and even in the light version, you can choose which numbers you're going to focus on. Especially, This is great if they're working on a specific times table. Um, you can also do game difficulty. You can choose from easy, medium to hard. Another great way to work with students who are of varying levels. Go ahead and push cancel there. So I'll go ahead and just enter a game so you can see how it works. I'm going to enter this top one. It's a tower of inquiry. It explains how to play it. It says you're going to do 20 problems and we'll go ahead and begin. I'll turn the music on so you can hear it a little. So it works just like a calculator. I'm gonna go ahead and solve the problem and type it in, enter, and it gives me my little doodles and it builds the next level. So I'll just quickly go through here. If you make a mistake, that's no problem. You always just press clear and then enter it in again. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off again. So as you can see, you just keep building up and up and up. Um, and as you progress, they get harder and harder. So it's just a fun game. You can try to beat your own score, beat your own time, and it will remember where you left off so you can always be working towards getting better rather than always having to just do the same problems over and over.